وحياكم Hi everybody. Well, I would just like to tell you why I wanted to do Quest 79. I had a dream of working with a Paralympian and then I was induced, introduced to Karen. So my Quest 79 was to clear rubbish, which I am still doing for 50 minutes a day, seven days a week. To do this and to help more people, we would like you to donate in the link below to Quest 79 so that we can continue this good work. And in my workshop, I will show you fun ways that I have used Quest 79 to help me and help the people around me. Hello everyone, I'm Christina and I'll be uh, joining on the day for Quest 79. I was invited by a friend and I had no idea what it was all about and I'm slowly learning and learning about myself and my fears and my insecurities at the same time. Um, on the day I'll be offering um, 16 15 minute session animal communication session which is something very, fairly new to me and very exciting at the same time. Um, anyone who would like to experience these sessions, um, please find my name, Christina, on, uh, on the page, on Quest, Quest 79 page. Um, also, please donate so that these beautiful souls can continue with the work that they're doing. Thank you so much. Thanks, Christina. Are you up for sharing, Jill? Oh, sorry, I thought it was after Marcus. Apologies. Beg your uh pardon. Yeah, I didn't deactivate my mic. Hello, my name is Marcus Pearson. I run a business called Be Super Limited. And the reason I'm involved with Quest 79 is it provides the final jigsaw, uh, which is a challenge or a quest inviting people to start their journey um, and through its members uh, and possibly through guides, gives them further support on that journey uh, that they might value. My particular area of interest, but we, although it's many and varied, on the day I will be seeking to explain how I use a a number of scientific and quite modern tools uh, such as uh, PEMF, pulsed electromagnetic frequencies, HRV, heart rate variability tools, and link that into uh, the therapy that I use, SSP, developed by Stephen Porges, which is sound related. And that's all about activating the parasympathetic nervous system um, and I'll link that into my 25 years plus of doing the same with sport and play therapy. And I'm interested to discuss and highlight to people how the, how the whole modern tools and general interact. And as a starting point for doing that, my challenge is for everybody to be silent and find some inner self for 7.9 minutes uh, or eight minutes. And in doing so, tune into their parasympathetic nervous system. Thank you. Hi, <clears throat> hi, I'm Jill Ladd. Um, and I got involved in Quest 79 because I was inspired by Karen's story and the whole link with 79. Um, and also just inspired by all the other people that were doing their Quest 79 challenges. Um, as an animal flow instructor, uh, my challenge was to um, flow with 79 other animal flow instructors all around the world. So on the day, I will be offering an animal flow taster session um, to invite people to move and to learn more about connecting with their bodies. What I'm discovering is that 
it's difficult to encourage people um, and give them the confidence that they can do these movements. So um, I'm really encouraging anybody of any ability to come along to the sessions. Um, there's lots of different ways we can adapt the movements and it's all about moving in your own space. So um, I'm asking people to donate to Quest 79 because that will help other people um, co connect and to actually achieve their goals as well. Hello everyone, I'm Sandy. Um, I was invited by Rachel to come along and take part in Quest 79. I'm very much a newbie, um, but reading all about Karen and the whole purpose of the quest, um, I just got really, really excited and really wanted to take part. I just love the idea of everyone coming together and working with energies and raising the vibration across the world and, and doing just a little bit to make the world a better place to live in. So I was really excited about that. Um, I actually work with tree healing energy. Um, my, my business is Sandy's Trees. And so on the day, um, I'm starting off very small this year just to put my toe in the water. But on the day, I will be doing two lots of sessions between 7am and 9am and then likewise between 7pm and 9pm, inviting people to contact me through Facebook um, to request that I send them one of my tree cards, their tree greetings cards, and um, hopefully with a specific person in mind who will just you know, love and energy boost and some healing energy. And within those cards, I'm just going to write a personal message to the recipient saying about the tree's healing energies and what it can bring to their life. So hopefully it will just spread a bit of happiness to people. So I'm going to do seven in the first slot in the morning to tie in with the 79. And then I'm going to do nine in the seven to nine in the evening again because I just love the idea of the 79 and the numbers and how it all resonates and the number of gold and everything I just love how it all ties in so my my little request to you is please 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 donate whatever you can even if it's just 79p or seven pound 90 or 79 pound if you flush but it will just help other people be able to achieve really, really great things and it will support this wonderful cause. Thank you. Thanks so much, Sandy, that was great. Alexia, are you up for sharing? Uh, yes, uh, was it Alexia or Alexi? I said Alexi, is that, is that the right way to? pronounce your name yes yeah. yes yeah. Uh, that's that's right because i was like uh, uh um yeah so um i signed up um took a little little while back because of uh, rachel we did a live instagram and she invited me out to here and i was like this is an awesome mission um, so what i'll be delivering is helping people learn it's going to be an online tour of uh, to learn how cacao, vanilla, and chocolate, chocolate, vanilla, and coffee, where they grow, how they grow, what happens. So I take people on this tour out into the fields and they get to learn what it's all about. And um, as I was creating this for here, um, learning a lot about myself that uh, persistence does pay off. <laughs> persistence, sticking to something is uh, you know, so easy to start something, but to to achieve something that uh, it's a whole different muscle. And as um, Karen, you know that uh, sticking to something, and training, training, training is, uh, is one thing that can, can um, make people stop. So that was, that was something I'm learning by myself that I have a lot more stick to in this. So on the day I will be doing a, it's gonna be a recorded tour um, from seven to 9 a.m. I'll be running it and people will be able to check it out and learn how chocolate is grown, made, um, how vanilla is grown, how it's made. Um, not in super detail, but they'll get the idea. Just like we do tours here, um, I'm here in Hawaii. And uh, just encourage everybody, if you wanna learn how to do that, 
jump on and donate to Quest 79 because I think it's a very, very worthwhile mission. And if you want to be a part of it, click the link on my Insta profile and uh, it will lead you to, to what you need to do next on the, um, I'm just going to say, cow farm tour. Amazing. Thanks, Alexi. I eat a lot of chocolate, so I think I need to learn how it's made. It'd be very special. It's uh, I think chocolate is my inner gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chocolate, chocolate straight from the farm is a whole different ball game than chocolate from the store. Great. I look forward to learning. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So thanks everyone. Back to, back to you, Rachel. Okay, I'm just going to record mine. Um, if that's okay, I thought I might as well add in. Are you going to do one, Karen? I'm I'm going to be listening to yours and then deciding whether I'm sharing anything or not. But. <laughs> Okay, yeah. hello, hello everybody. I'm Rachel Earing and I got involved with Quest 79 when I joined a clubhouse room and had no idea actually what room I was joining. But when I listened to what everybody was doing and the purpose behind this inner gold, it really resonated with the golden age coming up, moving into the 5D, which if people understand that from a spiritual perspective, that's where I come from really. And it all just resonated in the most beautiful way. So I, I gave 79 healings on the 79th day of the year. But it left me in such a really beautiful state. I felt compelled to bring together 79 people, which is why all these beautiful people are here to create this day of giving back on the 7th of September. And it's already turning into something far bigger and more absolutely more beautiful than I could ever imagined and we're not even at that day yet so it's surpassing the joy the hope the possibilities of what we wanted to create this ripple effect already so when we get to the day and then beyond and this continues I just know it's going to be the most delicious ride to be on and I invite each and every one of you to come and pledge your own quest because when you pledge your own quest that's when the magic really starts and you really start to find your own inner gold and then when and if you are able to please donate to quest 79 because that's what I wanted to do I wanted to donate to quest 79 and at the time there wasn't the facility but now there is so come and join us do quest do donate and come and join the fun because it's only going to get better and the waves and the ripples are only going to get higher with the love and the joy and peace and everything else that we're creating on this beautiful journey. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. Um, well, I guess I should just say thank you to all of you. Not I guess I should. I want to say thank you to all of you. It's really incredible what Rachel has created for the 7th of the 9th. And I know this began with my journey and my journey with gold, which, as you know, is the 79 is the atomic number of gold. But it has been really special to see people get involved and to see the transformation that each person goes through individually, but then how that impacts the people around them. Um, but I'm way beyond capable of doing all of this myself. And so it's really special to have all of you here doing your quest for Rachel to be leading this event with 79 guys around the world. And I love the diversity that it offers because you know, many people on the 7th of the 9th are coming, some, some people are coming with different healing modalities, but um, as we heard from Alexi there, wonderful tour of a chocolate making place and um, chocolate, how to make chocolate and Alexia collecting rubbish and um, Jill doing animal flow and Sandy using trees for healing, Marcus tuned into sound and the vibration of the earth and Christina doing all of her wonderful work. And it's just, the diversity is just so special. Like we can all bring our own passions and gifts to it and do whatever, whatever it is we want, be that on a physical level or something that's perhaps more energetic or something connected to nature, environment. It's just really, really cool to see what's happening. So thank you to all of you. Thank you, Rachel, for leading this incredible event and super excited to see how it goes on the day. And thank you to any of you that are able to join in, take part, have fun, do your own quest. And if you can help contribute to the ongoing work, that would be incredible as well. All right. <laughs>